getting into the zone, into a state of flow, is perhaps the secret to exceptional esports performance. But what is flow? Well, flow is that state of mind in which we operate at our absolute best, when the world around us seems to fade away. We lose our sense of time and self and enter a mode of hyper focus. And this state is commonly associated with top musicians, athletes, and esports players who can suddenly access their highest level of skill and achieve things that most people have assumed to be impossible. But flow is not limited to the very best players, because chances are you've had your own taste of it before. During these kind of moments, you reach heightened performance, where you seem to transcend your own limitations. You have amazing creative insights and ideas that help you escape from a dire situation or make a clutch play. Your reflexes all of a sudden are put into overdrive as you make play after play in rapid succession. And then, after it's all over, you look back on what just happens kind of in shock of what you're able to achieve as if your minds and body had been hijacked by an external force. But as amazing as these moments are, they are only temporary. Afterwards, you seem to be back at your normal self, shackled to mediocre performance once again and unable to get back into that state of flow. Now this is the problem with the flow state. It seems so hard to reach, and then the few times we do reach it, it seems to disappear too quickly. But what would happen if you could achieve this state more easily, if you could access it over and over again on demand? Well, imagine then what rank you could reach, the plays that you could make if you were consistently playing at your peak potential. Well, this sounds almost far-fetched or too good to be true, right? Well. Science has revealed what happens when you reach a state of flow, and it really comes down to basic biology. And with this kind of knowledge, we can start using certain techniques to engineer the right biochemistry in your body and brain. As a result, you'll be able to trigger this state of heightened performance much more often, allowing you to hack the flow state and use it as your secret weapon for your esports success. Imagine if you were suddenly 400% more creative in your decision making during games. You might pull off plays that even high level pros had never even thought about. Then imagine if you could develop your motor skills like aiming ability or other mechanics 230% faster. You'd be improving so fast that those around you might suspect you of cheating. Well, these kinds of benefits are not fantasy. Collective research on the flow state shows that it can increase motivation and productivity by 500%, improve creativity by 400-700%, to 700%. and when DARPA researchers induced flow state using transcranial stimulation, they found that target acquisition skills of military snipers improved 230%. So how can we access this kind of ability? Well, getting into a flow state just requires the right environmental and neurochemical factors that all work together to flip the switch of ultimate focus. The environmental triggers of flow include factors like risk, novelty, complexity, and unpredictability. Fortunately, all of these factors come relatively naturally during high stakes matches like playing in tournament games or even during intense moments of your ranked games. But feeling focused versus truly entering a flow state is completely different, and being able to flip the switch from focus to flow requires that you prime your brain with the optimal combination of neurochemicals. You see, the trigger that puts your brain into flow is really just a combination of five key chemicals that together create a sort of flow elixir inside your brain. So let's break down what each of these chemicals are so that we can understand the true essence behind top esports performance. The first of these neurochemicals is dopamine, which helps us to sharpen our focus. Our brains are constantly bombarded with tons of signals, and dopamine helps to filter useful information from everything else. Dopamine is also responsible for our feelings of engagement, excitement, and our desire to explore. 
The next neurochemical is norepinephrine, which helps us to maintain focus and boost our performance. It is what gives us the sensation of physical energy. But these two neurochemicals also need to be combined with a healthy dose of anandamide, which boosts our creative thinking and can help us to make unique decisions or come up with innovative ideas during states of flow. In addition, endorphins are critical to help us push our limits physically, ignore sensations of discomfort, and feel generally positive. And finally, the flow state is followed by a healthy amount of serotonin. Serotonin helps us to feel more focused, less anxious, and more emotionally stable. Individually, these neurochemicals are quite interesting, but together, they create a perfect mix for augmenting your performance. And so if you can actively increase these brain chemicals prior to your gaming session, then you can greatly enhance your ability to enter the optimal state during your matches. So the question is, how can you get your brain to release these together so that you enter flow? Well, using well-researched tactics, we can create a three-part protocol to prime your brain for flow before your matches. And this all starts with the first step of priming your focus. Now, of course, gaining access to a flow state requires a high level of concentration and absorption in the task. This level of focus can come and go quite easily, and if we let it slip away, the powerful neurochemicals that help you stay into flow will quickly diminish. Now, you can think of this process like maintaining your balance on a tightrope. The moment you lose this balance, you fall out of flow and have to climb back up to the top all over again. So to maintain the mental balance, you need to create a practice of getting your minds into the present moment, resilient to distraction. And the best way to cultivate this is with meditation. Beyond the general focus benefits you've likely associated with meditating, the science has revealed direct effects on the key neurotransmitters that we need for flow. In studies, it is shown to improve levels of dopamine and serotonin. And what's also interesting is that it even creates physical changes in the brain over time, meaning that in the short term, it can help you achieve more focus. And in the long term, it can make that focus even stronger. So the first key to getting into flow is to start training your mental focus muscles with the habit of meditation. But while meditation is a powerful technique, it alone likely won't cut it. In the research, we see that it can promote dopamine and serotonin in the brain, but this only covers two of the five key neurotransmitters for our flow cocktail. So we also need to implement another pregame routine to complete the flow trigger. And this brings us to the step of exercise. In studies, exercise is shown to have significant positive benefits for dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. And intense exercise for extended amounts of time can create a sort of runner's high, which is shown to result in endorphin release and even anandamide. So by exercising to a point where we can achieve a sort of runner's high effect and then following it with meditation, we are able to increase all five of the key neurochemicals in our brain that are needed for the flow state. But there is a third key step here, which is important to consider if you want to consistently achieve flow. You see, if your brain can't make the neurochemicals in the first place, it won't be able to release them even with meditation and exercise. So you need to make sure that you're giving your body the proper building blocks that it needs to put you into flow. And this comes down to what you eat. For this tip, I'm going to recommend two specific things. The first is protein. Eating protein raises the levels of amino acids like tryptophan and tyrosine, which prompts your brain to manufacture serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, and other important neurochemicals. So ensure that you prioritize protein intake in your diet, especially when fueling up for a gaming session. The second food recommendation might actually surprise you a bit, but has been shown to help promote anandamide and endorphins. Now these neurochemicals are relatively tricky to maintain in our brains with just exercise alone, but there is a key food that shows promising potential to benefit both. And this food is chocolate. 
Research from 2013 suggests that eating dark chocolate could boost endorphin levels while simultaneously preventing the breakdown of anandamide. Now this can make for a powerful tool to help you enter flow, but it's important to note that this benefit comes specifically from the cocoa in chocolate. And most commercial chocolate products contain only a small amount of real cocoa and way too much sugar. So if you are seeking the endorphin and anandamide benefits of chocolate, then I recommend consuming dark chocolate that is 70% or higher. Or my personal favorite tip is to simply mix high quality cocoa powder right into coffee or protein shakes. Following a run in meditation with this is a powerful combination. And as another quick bonus, if you are lucky enough to live somewhere where CBD oil is easily accessible, it has also been shown to have promising effects on anandamide and may be worth experimenting with. Since I've been living in Korea this year, I have not been so lucky to access it, but I'd love to hear your experiences with it. All right, so let's pause for a moment and put this all into a complete actionable plan so that you can start applying it right away. Now, when it comes to working out and receiving the neurochemical benefits, the most effective technique is a high intensity cardio workout. For me, I find the easiest to follow routine is just going for a 20 to 30 minute run at a pace that is sustainable but challenging. Then immediately following the run, slow things down with a 10 to 15 minute meditation. If this is not something that you've practiced much in the past, I suggest testing out a few guided meditation apps and seeing which one works best for you. And then finally, grab yourself a quick high protein snack, perhaps with some high quality cocoa powder added in. Now, ultimately, combining meditation, exercise, and key dietary factors will allow you to prime your brain with the five key neurochemicals needed to enter a flow state. And the more you apply it to your routine, the stronger the effects will be. But of course, by actively priming yourself in this way, it won't automatically force you into flow every single time. But when placed in high stakes situations with the right environmental triggers, this sort of routine will make you much more likely to achieve this state. And with benefits like 400% more creativity and 230% faster motor learning, being able to achieve this state of flow more and more often will provide you with a powerful secret weapon. One that can help you to achieve your esports goals much faster. If you want to break through skill plateaus, start improving much faster, and learn how to get more focus and flow while gaming, then I highly recommend our Esports Elite course. It's designed to teach you how to train like a pro so that you can make massive improvements in just a few months. It includes over 50 short videos that go far beyond any of the tips mentioned in our YouTube videos. And it combines scientific research on how to enhance your motor skills and game sense, as well as how to develop a pro-level mindset. It then combines all these lessons into a 66-day challenge that you can then use to rank up a lot faster. And we recently added a brand new section to the course on how to overcome the biggest barriers that are likely holding you back from getting into a flow state. So if you want to improve your mechanical skills and game knowledge and get more focus and flow over the next 66 days, then join now using the link in the description. And of course, this video is also brought to you by our very own esports supplements called eAdvantage. In short, eAdvantage is a cheaper, healthier, and more effective alternative to energy drinks. If you want to get insane focus without the jitters and sugar crash, and you want to play at the peak of your ability during important games, then I highly recommend it. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can find a link as well as a discount code in the description below. And of course, I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, then leave a comment down below and let me know what your biggest takeaway is. As I usually do, I will be responding to every single comment posted within the first few days, so let me know what you think. And of course, if you haven't already, definitely hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video is going to be posted. Now, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.